Africa. A very good morning to you guys. I hope you're all doing well this week. Um, here is your update on BTC. I'm using the USDT pairing. Let's take a look at the charts, guys, starting off with BTC. And um, we are looking at the weekly. Um, okay, so I did mention in my last video uh, that I was expecting a pullback. Um, I mean, all the indicators, guys, were just pointing towards a pullback. Everything was overbought, as you could see up here, um, even on this weekly RSI. Um, the question was, were we going to push through to the 9.4 area uh, before, before the pullback, or was it going to be the 8.3? Now, I did also say on Sunday, um, I... I think I made a video on Saturday evening, but I did mention on Sunday as well that it depends what what was going to happen on this next weekly chart. And I'm afraid that the weekly is not looking too good, um, and um, is and is exactly playing out uh, to what to what I had expected. Now we've got the 50 MA that's playing in at about five thousand four hundred dollars, um, and we've got of course multiple support levels before that. Now I'm not saying that it's just going to drop straight down. Um, but I am, but I am looking at a decent pullback because of how strong this parabolic run was. Um, you know, organic growth with organic and natural retracements is okay, but when it comes to these massive parabolic runs, as we well now know, guys, there is always going to be a strong pullback. Always. Now, um, <clears throat> if if. If for some odd reason we have some black swan event um, or unforeseen event for, for those of you that don't know what that term is, um, and, and the price does happen to break beyond this $8,300 or last high, let's call it. Um, so it breaks through this last high within this week or even next week. Um, there is a strong possibility that that is a fantastic buying opportunity for you and for you guys to run into around $9,400. $9,400 just as why so let me just show you why i've got that as a target um i will use my fib so i'll go from last high so ultimate high to ultimate low basically and here we've got 38.2 that's the next fib line so that's pretty much the target that i'm looking for and i mean that that is really the next resistance as well as you can see played by this area over here okay so this one's slightly higher but nonetheless it's in the same sort of area so if it does break beyond this $8,300 area, um, that would be a good buying opportunity for you. Um, and then looking at selling at around 9495 By that time, I mean, all the indicators are back. Well, I mean, so currently the RSI is still in the overbought area, but I mean, it looks like it's heading back down into the neutral zone, but that would take us back into the overbought um, area if we had to bounce off this, um, you know, and that allows us um, a very nice sort of opportunity to try and sell in this area over here before looking for that pullback. Uh, but ultimately that, I mean, for me that percent, so my percentile is like 10% bullish and 90% bearish. Uh, so I'm looking, I'm looking for a pullback more than I am looking for the potential of this run to the upside. Okay. So where are we going to bounce off? Um, I've, so I've got, I've still got the area between five, four and 5,800. That's pretty much where I'm looking at. Five, four is, is, is the maximum for me, um, for, for this pullback. Um, and let's take a look once again, what this measurement is. We're going to pull from the last high all the way down to about five, eight. And that brings us into about 36%, which is in, which is in, um, which is in, um, comparison to the pullback uh, percentage on the bull run um, that we had in 2017. So each time we had a run, we had a 30% pullback. So that 30% pullback one brings us into this 5.4 region. We've got the MA that sits in at about 5.4 as well. And we've also got the support in and around uh, 5,000, between 5,300 and 5,800. Okay, so 5.4 is is the zone that i'm looking at now i don't want to say five four is the number i'm saying the zone so we need to we need to ladder back in if you have sold um and let's figure out how we're going to ladder back in so let's take a look at the daily for that okay so as you can see this is not looking good on the daily uh the volume has just come down dramatically we are now out of the overboard area we are leaning back into the neutral zone um, and i'm seeing a bit of a drop coming in so i mean if if this area doesn't hold, then yes, we're going to drop straight down. I mean, there is no other support, um, you know, between between the seven three and the six five area. So, 
um, this, this, this is pretty much what I am expecting. Now, bear in mind, this is the daily, okay? So this is, this is what's going to happen over the next couple of days. Whereas with the weekly, I'm looking at more of a longer term um, or medium term um, sort of uh, time frame. Now, I mean, obviously, it may take two or three candles to get down to $5,400, or it might take one candle. It obviously depends on what the volume is within those days. Now, or within that week, rather. So I am expecting a drop in BTC, as I have mentioned a few times. And so here we've got the 50 MA that's now moved up. It's sitting at $5,900, slightly above the 5,800. Uh, 5, I did make mention in my last uh, video, or my, sorry, the video that I posted last week, rather, that I had said um, very likely that the MA was going to catch up with this 5.8. And, and as a matter of fact, it's actually gone beyond it. So within, within the daily, we will very likely see some support at this 5.8. Um, and roughly uh, call it 6,000, all right? So MA is sitting at about 6,000. We do have some support at the 6,5, 6,4 area, uh, but that's not, that's not major support. And I wouldn't really consider that, you know, the place, the place to buy back in. We will, I mean, we may very likely see some support in this area, um, you know, and perhaps a little bit of a bounce off this area over here. But I don't believe that this is the right area to, 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 to consider, um, um, you know, the bottom. So what I would do is I would probably ladder buy back in starting with the 6.4 area with, with a lesser um, amount. So let's say, for instance, you had $100 just for the sake of this video. You had $100. I would look at getting in at $10 and perhaps, um, you know, uh, $50 over here and then the balance of $50 down at the bottom at around $5,400. So we ladder buy back in three different uh, levels and, um, and that obviously safeguards you with regard to a bounce on each level. Uh, like I said, I mean, very unlikely that we're going to bounce off the $6,500, but it is a support zone. So it is up to you how you want to play it. If you are the more conservative in terms of, in terms of your accumulation, then $6,500, you know, is, a, is still a cheap price. Don't get me wrong. But obviously, I don't, for me, I just don't foresee this being uh, the area of which it's going to stop and just bounce back up. There's just not enough support um, in this area. So if you are the more conservative type, then yes, 6.5, if you want to get back in 100%, but then you've got to understand that buying in at 6.5, with um, knowing that the price may drop down to this 5.4 area, um, you, you, you just got to feel comfortable with that idea, all right? So whatever, whatever your buyback is, uh, just, just be confident with it and just stick to the strategy, you know. And during this time, you know, I try and, I try and make mention to a lot of people that it's not about, um, about maintaining your dollar value right now. Right now, you guys want to be looking at accumulating as much Bitcoin as possible, not dollars, okay? So, I mean... In, in the long term, at the end of this next bull run, I mean, the more, the more Bitcoin you have, obviously, the more the, more the reward that you will get um, in terms of dollar term, all right? So don't, don't take drastic um, risks, you know, in trying to pick up small percentages of Bitcoin, you know, um, and let's say, for instance, you sell at this point right here based on this four-hour chart, which is obviously, you know, not a chart that I would even consider buying and selling off. It just gives us direction. Um, of the intraday movements. But let's say, for instance, you guys decided to buy back in over here and the price does fall through, okay? You, you've now, you are now down in dollar, all right? If you're down in dollar and you then pick up further down at the bottom of here, you have less Bitcoin. So don't look at the short term, look at the medium to long term um, charts and stick to them. Rather try and preserve what Bitcoin that you have. And I wouldn't even trade with all the Bitcoin um, in, my, in my portfolio. I'd look at trading uh, just with a percentage. Um, and that's it. So let's take a look at this four hour as well. We can see that we've broken through this uh, 50 MA, this 50 moving average, which is obviously a concern. And again, look at where this next uh, 200 MA is sitting, sitting in just below the 6.4 area, which is where our next support is. So guys, if, if this level does not hold, we are very, very likely coming down to the $6,400 area, very likely going to find some support there. We've got two pieces of evidence. We've got the 200 MA. We've also got the support zone, uh, which obviously comes from this candle formation down here. And the fact that the RSI will be taken into the oversold area, allowing for a short-term bounce. Um, so up to you how you guys want to let a buy back in, but that is my suggestion. Um, let a buy back in smaller percentage, bigger percentage, um, probably your biggest percentage, if you will, and then a lesser percentage uh, down, down at the bottom um, at around $5,400.
And that is it. Um, oh, wait, uh, there is one more, one more thing. This Crypto Fear and Greed Index, um, when I posted my last video, it was at about 78, there it is right there. And I had mentioned to you guys that this is a great indicator that gives a psychological level of understanding how, how traders and investors are thinking. So with, when ex in, in an extreme greed, um, you need to be fearful and sell. And had you done that at 75, which was at $8,300, and you had now come back down to seven five. You obviously have um, saved yourself um, eight hundred dollars. So based off this indicator as well, we are still in the greed area, um, and we are heading back down towards uh, the fear side. Um, and I would probably say that that would take us back into the neutral area before having a little bit of a pump back into the greed area, based off of this four hour chart, taking us into the six four and perhaps even a short bounce up until maybe six eight, and then continuation back down. So. While the four hours also looking bearish, as we can see, the daily is looking bearish, as we can see, we've got some support at 7.3, but the main, the main target um, in the next couple of days, and perhaps with even, I mean, within the next day or two, based on fear, um, you know, as soon as we see a big red candle, we know everyone starts panicking and everyone starts selling. And that's very likely gonna spark the drop down, um, right down to around $5,400. Um, but on this weekly, which is the one that I always focus on, and for me, the most, the most uh, relevant, because I'm a long-term um, investor, if you will, um, and I try and trade, um, you know, these bigger moves, like these, sorry, these retracements, rather than trying to catch the little candles in between here and there. So for me, you know, the weekly is telling us that it is pulling back. Uh, the RSI is reversing. As we can see, you know, the MA is sitting at 5.4. So that would be my main target. But just to be safe and conservative, I would buy in at 6.4. Uh, 5,800 and then 5,400 as well, uh, or even slightly higher just to, just to beat the market. Because a lot of people will be setting their buy orders in and around those zones. So you want to beat the market. Um, and of course, the bots, uh, the bots obviously kick most of us um, out of the market uh, based, based on these buy and sell orders. So just make sure that you are slightly higher. Um, you know, you might get less Bitcoin, but at least you're back in the market. That is the game. All right, so uh, that is it pretty much. Um, and if there are any questions, please let me know. I will then uh, just assist. And um, I'm sure you guys all well know that I do TA on your personal portfolios. If you're interested in that service, please let me know as well. Otherwise, wishing you guys a fantastic week ahead, and I will get back to you guys with an update on BTC next week. Cheers for now.